Hello friends, welcome to Quantum Guruji. First of all, thank you for liking and subscribing my channel. And in the last video, I I promised you that we'll be discussing about nano sheet, how to design the nano sheet or uh, nano materials in the studio. Okay. So in this video, we'll be learning how to design a material like nano sheet or any material in the metal studio. Okay. So to start with, what we have to do is first see. While designing nano sheet, we have to first understand what is the unit cell and what is the repeating unit. Okay, so first, generally, what we I do is personally in the beginning when I was a beginner in this metal studio, what I used to do is uh, I used to draw the nano sheet uh, just you know uh, repeating units, multiple uh, repeating units in a cam draw, and there I used to first uh, like find out the unit cell. Okay, actually in the uh, this metal studio you have to design the unit cell and which will be repeating will give you that particular lattice, right? Okay, so just assume you in the first beginning first I will give you very you know uh, very basic thing. This is suppose just assume this is a carbon square. Okay, and this is a two dimensional sheet of carbon square. Okay, fine. So in this case, you have two possibilities of your repeating unit. One is this. Uh, in uh, one case, the carbon that uh, lattice point is at the center, right? This carbon atom is the, the at the center of the unit cell, and other unit cell which is possible is carbon at the corners. Okay, these are two unit cells, which is a square unit cell, which is possible in this lattice, right? So either we can draw this. Or we can draw this in Metal Studio. So we'll be getting this nano sheet. Okay. Now we'll see how to do this in both way. First, we'll take this carbon at the body center or the face center, whatever you say. And other case, carbon at the each corners of the unit cell. Okay. So see here we can. Uh, this is a square unit cell that you know, right? In a square, what are the angles? 90, 90. You know, this is two dimension. It is 90 and 90. Right. In Metal Studio, I already told you that uh, whatever we are drawing, it will be in 3D, right? So th third dimension, we have to take it 90 degree. Uh, so we'll go to the build menu and here we'll go to for crystals, build crystal, okay? There we'll select, see, since in the beginning, we don't know the, you know, the space group of this lattice. So we'll take default, go to lattice parameter and here, see, in this case, what is this edge length? Edge length is equal to the CC bond length, right? Suppose in this case, just I am assuming that CC bond length is 1.45 angstrom, right? So that edge length will be 1.45 angstrom, right? So I'll get that length will be 1.45 angstrom. Since it is a square lattice, so both will be 1.45 angstrom, okay? See, in Metal Studio, we can design only three dimensional system, right? To make it two dimensional, what we have to do? Third dimension, we have to keep such a way so that there is no interaction between the layers between right so i'll take it 15 angstrom and angles 90 90 90 because uh, this is square lattice will be 90 fine now click on apply so we got a lattice like this fine okay now you see in this case we'll take this as a repeating unit first so in this case your atom like the constituent particle is at the center of this face or the body whatever Okay, so what will be the fractional coordinate for this? What do you think? What will be the fractional coordinate for this? If you are going this way, this will be 0.5, right? And if you are going this way, this will be 0.5. If I am assuming this as a unit cell, so it will be, this point will be what? 0 0.5, 0 0.5, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> you can go to this uh, add atom menu where you can see this add atom menu. Here you can click. And in add atom, suppose I want carbon element, you, you can choose any element, whatever element you want. I chose carbon and these are the ABC coordinate in the fractional system. Okay, I'm, I'll be giving you in the fractional value. So uh, I, I have already told you it will be 0.5 and it will be 0.5 in the Y axis. Z axis, since this is a two dimensional material, so there will be no Z axis, only two will be there, right? We'll click on add. Fine. Now that atom will be added. <clears throat> you can see that atom has been added there, right? And the distance between these two layers is C. Distance between two layers is used. First, we'll right click and go to the display style and here we'll uh, change the model. Ball and stick will take. Okay. Now what we can do is go to the lattice and here see these are the X, direction Y and Z. Fine. So see, this is our lattice. 
So first you want to see the in repeating how it is looking like. Okay. So see this is your y axis and this is your that is uh, other way is see other way is x axis. So your lattice is in x y axis. Okay. And z axis is what? There is no interaction between that. That is the layer distance. So in the beginning I told you I have taken some roughly around 15 angstrom distance. So you just go to this distance and click on this atom and this atom and see the distance is what? It is 50, 15 angstrom, right? So 15 angstrom, there is no interaction between those layers. So it is assumed to be a two-dimensional lattice. Fine. Now since we don't need that third dimension, so I'll remove this. I got 2D. Now I can increase you know, both X and Y axis direction. See how it is increasing. So is this looking like that nano sheet that I have designed here? This is looking like this, right? So uh, in this way, you can design this lattice. Again, so in this case, I have chosen uh, like element or the constituent particle in the center of the unit cell, right? And there is other way also to design this lattice. How we can design this lattice? Uh, other way, you can put that carbon atom at the corner of the unit cell, okay? So this is the one way. After doing this, first what we have to do is go to this find symmetry and choose the symmetry and here you can take the tolerance value. This is like uh, ultra fine, fine, medium coarse and ultra coarse. What is it mean is ultra fine is 0.001 angstrom. If you are selecting this and clicking on the fine symmetry, it will relax the lattice by 0.001 angstrom. Okay. In that you are getting P4 mm symmetry and based on the <coughs> lattice also you can assume it will be having P4 mm symmetry. If you don't know about the two uh, three dimensional lattice symmetry or the point group, space group, don't worry. Okay, as a beginner, you don't like you have to know a little bit, okay, about the symmetry. But symmetry is very important in materials and molecules because you know that this molecule will be having C4 axis, right? So and all are equivalent. And for, yeah, before designing, you should know that see all the atoms will be equivalent. In this case, there is only one atom in the unit cell. When we are designing a bigger unit cell, there will be lots of atom. So after designing, we have to see the symmetry. Uh, did we get symmetry like uh, what should be the symmetry and did we get like whatever symmetry we want so all those things we have to see okay so after getting this uh, uh, find symmetry you got this if you are increasing by 0.01 it will be same because now you already got the highest symmetry fine so now if you are increasing to 0.5 also it is not going to matter anything fine this is your lattice now fine uh, another way I told you right suppose I want to delete this since this is equivalent, right click, select symmetry images. So all of the equivalent elements will be selected. Since all are equivalent, because in a unit cell there is only one element, right? And which is equivalent. So if I delete one, everything will be deleted, right? Okay. So the another method to design a material, this, uh, this unit cell is what? I told you another way is if you can keep your atoms at the corner of the unit cell. Okay. So corner of the unit cell is what? It will be 0 at the origin, right? So I'll take 0, 0, 0, add it. So all atoms will be added at the, see, added at the corners. See, nicely. Can you see? So all atoms has been added at the corner of the unit cell. Now again, go to this symmetry, find symmetry. It is already P4MM, so uh, don't worry. So this is the way to design this small, small, you know, nano city in this, mid, in this metal studio. So in the next lecture, we'll learn how to design the other nano sheets. For homework, what you can try is suppose this is a graphene nano sheet, right? And I have designed you the unit cell. This is the uh, you know primitive unit cell. There is also one conventional unit cell that is the rectangular shape, which is possible like this. Okay, that is another possibility. So you can try designing this graphene lattice. Or if you are not able to design this lattice, in the next video I'll tell you how to design this. A lattice from the scratch okay generally there are so many ways to design the nano, uh, like nano materials or nano sheet if you have the coordinates you can simply put the coordinates in that add atoms i have shown you there and all those like x y z and alpha beta gamma that angles crystallographic angles you just put it and you can design the material right and suppose you don't know you don't have the coordinates and you, you just have the picture of it still you want to design that nano sheet how you will do this so in that case i will tell you how to you know how to proceed to design those unknown materials okay Thank you. Please like and subscribe the video. Thank you.